Hey everyone, this is Francesco Abruzzino with the Scoop News. I ready. A lot of questions out there about I ready. If you guys watched, I was doing a lot of interviews with um, school board candidates and a lot of them from uh, Karen Rose to Pamela Gavet to uh, Cody, all the losers, <laughs> everyone that lost, basically was talking about I ready and how it's impacting the school system. You know, the school put out this video you're watching. Um, it's a video from uh, Go Gokyo, Geico Geico Elementary. And what it says is that iReady basically combines a reliable growth measure um, with some in individual instruction for reading and for math. And it tries to pinpoint where the, the student needs to um, some progressing, where they need help at so that they can get on track to achieve the objectives that they want to achieve for the for the year. Um, the Hero put on an interesting article, and I will put that link below um, on my website. So the, most of you guys will probably be seeing this on Facebook or YouTube. If you click the um, website link, you'll see the Herald article link. It's a pretty in detailed in depth article regarding a lot of uh, concerns and they said that in their article that they went out and did this because a lot of bloggers i guess that would be me because i was talking about it a lot just a couple months ago or a month ago and parents and educators are concerned about it and they say parents across the state are questioning i ready and this uh, test preparation software with a lot of concerns and hesitations one of the concerns is just the third grade reading level if you watched any of my interviews can't remember the exact um Number, I think it was 33% of the third graders are flunking out when it comes to math and, or not math, reading. And they're using iReady and a lot of the, the three educators, three of the educators that I interviewed, um, attributed it to that. Now, I don't recall what Nick Guy or Bridget Ziegler stated about it, but I remember the other three were pretty much down on it. Um, but it's used in just it's used in 57 of the 67 uh, school districts that are out there. So it's used by a lot um, as a diagnostic tool for the teachers. It's um, they say that they've seen what I already says conflicts a little bit with what I heard during the interviewing process with these um educators you know they've been out there they were running for school board but they were one was a former teacher another one a former administrator so they've been out there in the in the arena i read i read he says that the um tool has increased by 40 percent made 40 percent gains in english and math from students across the table and that's a great tool to use out there to better their math and reading skills but, but like i said it's a hot top topic amongst school board members and parents and you know the bloggers education advocates anyone you ask out there because of sarasota county is a great example what's happening with our third grade level reading and it, it's just not meaning it um it's i found out through this article with the hero that it's not peer-reviewed um, there's not a clear consensus on the quality of the program and the academics that it's putting out um they said that they're uh, they're getting rigorous and scientific analysis done on iReady. It's a priori priority, but it's a slow going priority. So how's it a priority if it's slow going? I don't know priority, but it's slow going. So is it really a priority? Uh, <laughs> they said that uh, two organizations have uh, basically endorsed iReady, and that's the Center of Response to Intervention, the National Center of Intensive Intervention. Uh, they both run by the American Institutes of Research, and that's the company that goes out there and produces the Florida Standard Assessment Test. Some of the critics out there dismiss this endorsement, saying it's a pay-for-play and overlapping the worlds of educational technology and test administration, according to the Herald article. Um, there's also the concern with screen time. We're seeing that a lot more now with the screen time, a lot of concern out there. Um, and it's something I never thought of. You know, it's funny. When I first had my first daughter some 20 years ago, we had her on the computer. She was in even one and she was learning the computer. And how is that impacting you? And, you know, it impacts your eyesight. 
Um, it impacts their, their, the mentally, the thought process. They, they say there's different studies that are out there that you can look at it. But that's a lot of concern is the amount of screen time that these kids are having on there. And it's not a replace. There's not a replacement. Um, you know, right now, iReady is there. But if you take it away, what do you do? How do you replace it? You know, it's very popular around Florida. Students are reading levels, um, uh, or students whose reading levels are below the standard um, face a host of challenges. And it's basically, you know, according to this article, iReady offers uh, um, an enticing solution to many individuals, educators, parents, and students, and everybody above. Um, but is it a reliable indicator of how the student will do on the FSA? Um, and it'll just the overall concern, and then the cost factor. I can't, I can't recall specifically, and you can watch any of my interviews. I think I covered it um, primary, a lot with Gavette and Rose, but the overall cost and the millions of dollars out there. And are we getting a return on our dollar if such a um, significant amount of our third graders can't read? Can't well, they can read, but they can't read at the third at the level that they should be reading at. Um, so it's up for you guys to decide. So real interesting in-depth article. I'll put it up there. I'll also put this video that's playing on the side of the screen next to me um, up there if you want to watch it. it. was I can't remember when they put it out, but I remember it coming out. And um, that's it. What say you? Is I ready the best? If it isn't the best solution, what is a solution? Apparently there isn't one. Um, what can be done? The kids are our future. I, I remember during that interview process, I was very alarmed to find out w that the third grade levels of reading uh, were suffering so much. So what say you? All right, everyone, this has been Francesco Abruzzino with The Scoop News. Mm -hmm.